Hello! Today we're going to take a look at shipping rules inside Shipping Easy. Shipping rules are the bulk of automation within Shipping Easy, and with them you can really have the application doing most of the work for you. Please make sure you have annotations turned on in YouTube using the gear icon in the bottom right. So, to look at shipping rules from the dashboard, first we go to Settings. Then, on the right side, under Shipment Settings, select Shipping Rules. Now, first let's take a look at my first class rule to get an idea of the structure of rules, and then we'll see what they're capable of. So, my first class rule is a very simple rule that saves me a bunch of time, so it's a great example of a rule. Now, rules consist of two parts, the if statement and the then statement. If tells the application how to identify the shipment, and then tells it what to do once it finds it. So the purpose of my first class rule is to identify first class shipments, categorize them, and then assign them the saved carrier selection that I use for my first class shipments. If you don't know what a saved carrier selection is, click the link on your screen right now for a rundown. Now in the if statement, we need to tell Shipping Easy how to identify a first class order. Now my business is very simple, so I identify first class orders by weight. Since the first class weight cutoff for domestic shipments is 15.99 ounces, any domestic shipment under a pound gets shipped first class. So I want my rule to apply only to domestic shipments, mainly because there's a different weight cutoff for international first class shipments. Then I set the weight restrictions. If the order is less than a pound, the order qualifies for my rule. Now some of my stores do not have their product weights come across because I haven't set up those weights in my store yet. These orders come across as zero pounds, zero ounces, so I'm going to make sure this rule doesn't pick those up by making sure the order weight is above zero, zero. Now, Shipping Easy is finding any orders that are above the weight of zero and below one pound, as well as ensuring those orders are going to a domestic destination. Now I need to tell it what I want done with those orders. So I come down to the then half of the rule. I only need two things done to these orders. First, assign it to my first class category so I can easily see those orders on the orders page. Then, I made sure that every order caught by this rule can be shipped out using my saved carrier selection called first class. I want Shipping Easy to go ahead and assign that saved carrier selection to those orders as they come in. So, to sum up, this rule is going to identify orders that have a domestic destination and have an order weight below a pound but above zero. Then, it's going to assign them to my first class category and assign my first class save selection to it. Now, this checkbox above the save button will automatically create a shipment for orders to which this rule applies. That is, it will move those orders to the ready to ship page automatically. I hit save, and from that point on, any order that comes in is filtered by that rule. Rules are not retroactive. They don't apply to orders that are already in your order screen, but any new orders that come in, if they meet those requirements, they have those actions taken against them. Every order that pulls into your Shipping Easy account will run through every rule. If they match all the conditions of a rule, the actions apply. The rules run from top to bottom, so if your order matches all conditions of more than one rule, the last rule to apply wins. To see the major benefit of assigning safe selections to orders via shipping rules, check out the video linked on your screen right now. Now, I'll just open up a blank rule so you can see the different ways that Shipping Easy can identify orders and everything it can do with those orders. So, opening up the drop down on the if statement, you can see everything from sales channel to item name, requested service, and even if the order is marked as a gift. Then, based on those criteria, we can do anything from setting the category to assigning a user a custom packing slip template, or even just delete the order using clear order. So I highly recommend taking some time, figuring out the way rules work, and setting up a couple of effective rules for your business, as that will save you countless hours down the line. Also, our knowledge base has extensive documentation on creating rules. The article linked on your screen right now goes over the basics and points you to more in-depth information about rules.